Hey guys, I got the Turbo Valkyrie in here. Um, kind of had a pop out of the exhaust. I couldn't figure out what was going on for a long time. I thought it was a tuning, a tuning issue. Uh, basically, last resort, I had, after doing a compression check and doing all this other stuff, I had a plug that wasn't didn't look like it was burning properly. Uh, didn't actually kind of look like it was running lean, like it wasn't getting enough fuel. <clears throat> I decided I'd did a compression check and everything was perfectly fine. So we went through and, and set everything out to do the compression to or to do an injector flow test. And basically what I got here is with a micro squirt at and I'm using a voltage maintainer. So I got a cost of voltage of twelve point seven volts on the bike. Fuel pump running is fifty PSI. I set the micro squirt uh, test procedure up for a thousand injections at ten milliseconds. And there's all my cylinders and what my flow rates were. Look at number three. Dude was dude was off. Bad injector. Uh, I had plenty of extra injectors. I double checked another uh, a, a seventh injector. It was flowing 38 milliliters underneath these conditions here. So I went ahead and installed it, and we should be good to go. But hey, while I had it going, I thought I'll do a video. Um, I'm trying to work out here my voltage compensation and, and doing it the, the 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 long way the hard way but the right way um, while I'm here and what you'll see here is I've already flowed at the same 12.7 volts at 50 psi I've already flowed and here's you know for an example uh, my constants are two milliseconds at 5500 squirts at that voltage this was this was my output okay same with all the rest of these at the end, we have this is I basically calculated. It took this uh, the measured amount divided by how many squirts, and that's so on 10 milliseconds. I'm squirting each squirt is 0 0.038 milliliters. Uh, and at the end of it, what we'll do is we end up making a spreadsheet up with Excel or whatever program you have, and basically putting in our pulse width, our pulse numbers. How many how many pulses, our total pulses, and then in, in these columns here you can uh, enter your equation where it automatically figures out your exact uh, mill milliliters per pulse, and then you can input all that into a chart on your spreadsheet and on your line graph, and basically here's all your, your dots uh, of your measurements, and you can open the uh, the trend line and it will give you a trend line. All the way, and you follow the trend line all the way to where it intersects the x axis. That is your injector dead time in milliseconds. So your pulse, pulse width in milliseconds across the bottom, your milliliters per squirt going up the y axis. So on these particular injectors, which these happen to be LS 5.3 liter injectors that I'm testing here, uh, I'm with the ruler I got down here and measured it and um, it's somewhere right about 0.275 milliseconds at 12.7 volts so right now I'm going through and rerunning all these tests at 11.7 volts so I got a 1 volt difference I want to see per volt how many how much milliseconds my dead time is actually going to be off here so I can input that as my uh, my battery correction Here's basically what I got going on. You have to remove the fuel rail from the intakes. Okay. And you have to be able to keep, once you build fuel pressure, you have to keep the injectors in. On these custom built fuel rails I made here, there's no retainer. So I have to zip tie them up in place so they won't blow out. And I can just teach, I can check one injector at a time by plugging just one in at a time using a graduated cylinder. You stick it up here, press the start button, and start button is right here. Um, as I'm going through my test, I'm changing my pulse width and how many injections I'm doing, and on which bank I'm doing. On this particular bike, I'm working on an injected two bank. Okay, and then you press the start, and it will automatically cycle I mean, all through all your counts, and you can watch your voltage up here, make sure it's maintaining where it needs to be. And at the end, this is what I ended up with, which ends up being about 75 milliliters, as shown right here, 75 milliliters 
with the six milliseconds. So let's go ahead and change. Let's go ahead and change it uh, to four milliseconds at four two hundred pulses. So we'll do a four here. What did I say? Forty two hundred milliseconds. Okay. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Let's turn the pump on. And then we'll install the graduated cylinder over the injector and press the start button. Here we have the graduated cylinder shoved underneath here. That one injector turned on. We're plugged in. I'm going to press the start button. It is now pulsing through. And watch the fuel collecting. We're watching our count, count meter pulses. We started at 4200. We're working our way up. Or down, rather. There we're getting close to the end. We watch the needle cut go down. Each one of those numbers is in 500, there's 500, and we're down to 400, 300, getting close to being done. Measuring here, we got about 59 milliliters. So we're going to input the 59 here, which it seems like on average here, one volt, I'm dropping about one milliliter on average. Uh, I got one more test to run here at two milliseconds and 5,500 squirts and then I'm going to input all this information into my spreadsheet and we're going to look at the new trend line and see how far the trend line is off from the original and that should give us the battery uh, compensation that we need to input into our uh, underneath our, our dead time figures and here we're doing our 2 millimeter at 5500 squirts and you can just tell by watching it that it's definitely spraying a lot less fuel.